All right. Well, we've shot the individual images for the focus stack. You've carefully, carefully changed focus. You've got everything is working exactly the way you want it to. And now it's time to bring those in to Photoshop and work with them. So in this module, we're going to take a look at how we do that. Here's a set of images that I shot um, literally a, a half an hour ago um, to do for this demo. And I've got several versions. I went just out in the yard to pick up something that I could use for a focus stack. And lo and behold, there was a giant plant out there. So these shots along the bottom are the ones I took. And they're going to let me show you several things in Photoshop in addition to the photo stacking thing. So if I use a shift click and select these, now I can go to tools, batch rename, and I'm going to call these focus stack series 01. And give the date created. I'm going to start my numbering at one. Say rename. And now you can see all of these were renamed. I'm going to call this number two. Again, shift click selects them all. Tools. Batch rename. The only thing I want to change here is that becomes two. I'll start my numbering over. We'll rename them. And we'll go to this last series. Do the same thing. Shift click. Tools. Batch rename. And there we have it. I've got all of these renamed so that when I store them and start to file them, even in the raw files, They've got a name as to what it was and how it was shot. So now I can look at these and get a sense that there's some work that maybe these need. What you can see on here is the focus point moving into the distance with each shot. But I've got some blown out highlights. I need some shadows brought up. So here's how you can do this in batch in Bridge. I'm going to select this first one double click on it and it should bring it into camera raw and now i'm going to make my fixes to it i'm going to bring the highlights down i'm going to bring the shadows up so i've got some luminosity in there i'm going to bring the clarity up just a little bit so i've got a little finer detail in those mid ranges Give me a little more color in the desaturated areas. I think I'll go ahead and live with this. Other changes that I might make, I'm going to wait and make in Photoshop. So now what I'm going to do is instead of open this image, I'm simply going to say done. And then I will reopen bridge. And you can see how much different that one looks. Now I'm going to select the remaining ones in that series. Click on the first one. Shift click on the last one to select all of these. And you can do this one of two things, one of two ways rather. I usually right click on one, it doesn't matter which one. And that brings up this little dialog. Go to develop settings, previous conversion. Now watch these change as it applies that conversion to each of these. You can do that to however many you've got. You can make all of those batch conversions that you would like. You could also do it once they are selected by going into Edit, Develop Settings, and you've got the same possibility in there. You want previous conversions. So now I've got these done. I want to select the entire series again. So there's six shots there. And you can see in here they go from where it's sharp in front to where it's sharp in the background. Now what I want to do, I've got a couple of ways I can go about this. But because I've got all this detail, the wind was blowing, things were, were moving around a little bit, 
I'm not sure that they exactly line up. So I'm going into Photoshop down here under Tools, Photoshop. If I knew for absolute sure that they all lined up, I'd go directly to Photo Merge. But I don't know that. So I'm going to take some extra steps here, and I'm going to load these files into Photoshop Layers. So I'll click on that. And now what's going to happen is this will open a Photoshop document. Of course, it's got to read all that camera raw material. And over in the Layers palette, you can see it's starting to build all of these layers. This is a fairly quick machine, but these are big files. These were... These are each about 30 megabytes. They were done with the uh, um, 5DSR. So they're big files. Okay, that's got them all. Now what I'm going to do is shift click. My top layer is automatically the one that's selected. I want to select them all. So I'm going to shift click on this bottom layer. And now you can see all of the layers are highlighted. And that means they are all selected. So then I can go to edit. And because I wasn't sure if there was some wind movement or if I had accidentally touched the camera and moved it just a little bit, the first thing I'm going to do is align them. So I'm going to go into auto align, click on that. I want just auto. This is the simplest way to go about doing this. Leave everything else just the way it is. And then click OK. And now it's going to go through and align this stack. And what will probably happen when it comes back is I'm going to see I need to crop it a little because it isn't actually all lined up. But we'll see. And there we have it. So... What you can see when you look around the edges, you can see here's a line. This is because this doesn't perfectly line up all of these images. I was right that they're not quite perfect. So I'm going to crop this. There, I think I've got all of that extra stuff out. Okay, so I'll hit the Enter key. That will crop it. And now we should have all of those layers lined up. There is an, oh, I'm still off a little bit on the bottom, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about that for this demo. But you can see this line. I should have come up and removed move that line. Now, the next step is going to be to actually make the focus stack. So I'll go to Edit, Auto Blend. And in this case, I want it to stack images. It's easy to think of which one you want to do here because this is a focus stack. So I want to stack these images. I'll say OK. This is going to be a longer process as well because of the complexity of what we've got. And it's going to go through several steps. One, it's going to start blending them based on content. Then it's going to realign them. Then it's going to make layer masks and s select the parts that it wants from each. So when this process is done, I'll be right back. Now you're going to be able to see the layer masks being formed over here. We just got the layer mask icon. And as it's merging these layers, it's going to be showing you the mask that it's making. And this is pretty amazing to me. How it selects what's sharp and what isn't is pretty wild. All of that is sharp. All of that stuff that was not sharp to begin with. Let's see if we can make a snapshot of this and go back. There was our number one. Well, actually, that's one of the last of the images on there. But you can see there's very little in focus. But here we have everything. And that's all there is to making a focus stack. 
it does it pretty much automatically. At this point, you can go through and pick layer, flatten the image. There's no reason at this point to keep all of these with all of these different layer masks. So I would go through, flatten the image, and once it's flat, now it's back down to a reasonable sized image. And then we can work on it in Photoshop just like you would any other image.